Hello. Welcome to this lecture. I want us to look at levels of measurement in research. Basically, any data that we collect in research can be grouped into four types. The first one is called nominal data. The second one is ordinal data. The third one is interval data. And the fourth one is ratio data. We may need to take time to look at each of them and understand exactly what they mean and how they apply in actual research. Nominal data is any data that can be grouped or data where the four mathematical functions do not apply. By this I mean it is data that you can't add, you can't subtract, you can't multiply, or you can't divide. For instance, if you are talking of uh, gender, gender is either male or female, or you are talking about uh, uh, job groups in an organization group one, group two, group three, and so on. These are data that we categorize, or you're talking about sources of employment, for instance, business, farming, formal employment, casual employment, among others. These are simply data that we put into categories. I also want to observe that the even that nominal data can further be divided into other two subtypes. We have, of course, what we call categorical data, which I've mentioned. Then we have what we call dichotomous data. Categorical data is data that you categorize, or, the, or data that you put into several categories. For instance, religion. You can be Muslim, Christian, a traditionalist, a priest, among others. But when it comes to dichotomous data, it is data in which one item is exclusive of the other. For instance, gender. You are either male or female. Of course, I know there is increasing debate around transgender. But gender is, is understood sociologically, which means the roles assigned to different people, then you are either male or female, or data that seeks answers such as yes or no. So either going to give a yes answer or a no answer. So data in which one is mutually exclusive of the other, we call that data dichotomous data. I want us to go back to the other type of data or measurement which we call ordinal data. Ordinal measurement is used when we are using data that is incremental. For instance, level of education where we have no formal education, primary education, secondary education, college, university, and so forth. In other words, one level increases as you go up. Another example of ordinal data may be our ranks in the military, where from a lower rank, you rise to a higher rank. The military or the police, there are also instances where job groups are also ranked so that there is a lower rank, the middle rank, and the upper rank. You move up the stage. 
I also need to mention that when you talk about uh, ordinal data, ordinal data also cannot be, uh, you cannot apply the four mathematical functions in uh, ordinal data. For instance, you can't say that if you have a university level education, you can't say that you are, say, four times, ten times, or five times more educated than the person who has primary level education. And therefore, you cannot apply these figures when you're using them. Uh, there are several examples that we have about the you know, data, like I mentioned, uh, job group is an example, level of education is an example, and so forth and so on. Then we have another type of data that we call uh, interval data. Interval data is data in which all the mathematical functions can apply. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can also divide. For instance, age, income, distance, weight, among others. These are data in which you can apply all the four mathematical functions. You can be half of someone's age, or you can be twice as old as someone. You can as well be two years older than another person, or five years younger than another person. In other words, age can allow the application of all the four mathematical functions. Same thing to weight. You can weigh 90 kilograms, another person can weigh 45 kilograms. In that case, you can say that you are twice as heavier as the other person, or the weight is twice that of the other person. Income. You can earn 10 shillings, another person can earn 5 shillings, which means your earnings or your income is twice more than the other person. There are several examples about this that you can give, quite, quite, quite a number. Then we have, of course, what we call ratio data. Ratio data is data that allows, again, all the four mathematical functions, and in addition, zero is counted as absolute number. For instance, temperature. Temperature can be zero degrees, and that zero degrees is counted as a number. Numbers below the zero degrees, for instance, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on and so forth, are equally considered actual numbers. Again, let us look at again at these uh, four types of measurements or level of measurement. We have said that one level at which you can measure your data is nominal level. In nominal level, it is data that we come up with ways on how we categorize them. For instance, source of income, religion, departments in an organization, faculties or courses a student is pursuing, among others. Within this, there are those data that we collect, but which one is exclusive of the other. For instance, gender. You are either man or a woman. Or data that requires us to answer a yes or no. In that case, that one we call it dichotomous data. So nominal data is divided into two, dichotomous and uh, categorical data. And we also said earlier, and I want to repeat, that nominal data does not permit the application of 
the four mathematical functions. That is, it does not permit the application of multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. In other words, we call them non-parametric data. The other type of the other level of measurement is ordinal data. Ordinal data, I want to repeat, is data that is incremental in nature. It rises. For instance, level of education, you start low, say primary, you move to secondary, you move to college, you move to university, and so on and so forth. Job group or in employment. You start at a lower level, you rise above the rank. Or ranks in the military are also uh, examples of ordinal data. Ordinal data too does not permit the application of the four mathematical functions. We cannot divide, we cannot subtract, we cannot uh, add, and we cannot multiply ordinal data. The other level of measurement is interval data. Interval data is also called parametric data. Parametric means it permits the application of the four mathematical functions. You can divide, you can multiply, you can add, and also you can subtract. The examples include age, income, weight, distance, among others. The last level of measurement is called ratio data. Ratio data is also parametric data because it permits the application of the four mathematical functions. You can add, you can subtract, you can divide and you can also multiply. The only difference between interval data and ratio data is that in ratio data, zero is also counted as a number, such as temperature. So if one was to ask, can age be a ratio data? The answer is no, because we cannot have zero years. We cannot have zero weight. We cannot have zero income. And therefore, anything that zero cannot be counted as a number, but still permits the application of the four mathematical functions, we call it interval data. That is what I wanted us to have uh, for today. Thank you for your time.